Hi, this is Anne with a quick anagram on Replit and um, how to work with REPLs. We had you do this in week one, and uh, but we didn't explain it much. So I wanted to take a few minutes and show you some things about the REPL environment and how to create REPLs and how to organize them that may be useful. Um, generally speaking, I think we're going to have three different ways to create REPLs this semester. Uh, you did this one, clone an assigned project last week, and we will do some of that. Um, we will probably move more and more towards downloading and importing files from a zipped archive. And um, your work, your snake worksheet exercise um, this week gives you a chance to make sure you've got the right skills to do that easily. Um, there'll be a separate video on that. So I don't know how often you're going to start a new REPL from scratch. Um, but if you are one of those people who likes to work through the problems in the book and and or do some exploring on your own, this is the skill you do need. It's quite simple and it allows me to demo some features of the environment. So that's what I'm going to do is start a new REPL from scratch. So I come up here to my REPL account um, and there's a nice new button, new REPL button. Click that. And you have to specify your language, which in our case, although we're learning JavaScript, the REPL environment is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And you always have to give um, your REPL a name. So we're going to do quick demo. Uh, you don't have to give a description. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Create this REPL. And you immediately get switched over to this editor environment. This is kind of a cool environment. Um, you have an editor that has what's called colorization, which turns out to be a great feature so that certain things are um, colored differently and are um, called to your attention in different ways. When you create a new REPL, you always have the index.html, which gives the, um, the structure to your page. And you've got empty files for a JavaScript um, file and a CSS file which could do look and look and feel um, styling. Now at the moment this is a completely empty page which makes it kind of hard to demo much. So I'm just going to add a paragraph. Okay. Um, that shows that will show us some text on the screen which is kind of useful. Um, HTML is organized with tags, and anytime you have an open tag, you generally need to have a closed tag. So now if I run this page, I actually see some output over here. And um, that's, that's all we need for showing you the different features we want to do. Um, mainly, I wanted you to see some ways you could customize and organize things within Replit. So this is your file view right here. Um, and if you need more space, because as your code gets larger and more complicated, you're going to want more and more space. So one thing you can do is simply click on that. That left hand nav bar collapses and you end up with more space over here. Um, the other thing you can do to give yourself more space is grab this little bar here and make the view of your page smaller. And either one of those things, it just sometimes can be really nice to have more, more space to view your code. Now, you also have a settings button. Uh, you can control the layout. This is called side by side, obviously. Um, if you prefer it, you can have your output on the bottom and your code on the top. Uh, for various reasons, I don't know, just experience. I like side-by-side -side myself, especially when I can control how big the output looks. Um, the other thing you have is like many editors, uh, there are themes. There are only two in this environment, so light and dark. Uh, my preference personally when I'm doing work on a large project is always to use dark. I think it's easier on the eyes. Uh, I will probably, for these video demos, use light because I think it ends up being easier to see on um, different screens. Uh, but I'm willing to take feedback on that if you ever think that the dark is easier to see in a video. 
Um, the other thing you can do, particularly if you're working on quite a small screen, is you can control the font size. And I may sometimes do this for demos. Um, I think I'll leave it at large um, for the rest of this demo. Um, please don't change indent type, which could be spaces or tabs. Um, our team convention is spaces. Go with um, the standard, well, my standard normally would be a four space indentation. But again, we've got limited editing space in our projects here in, in REPL. So stick with two. So basically each of these little vertical lines shows you two spaces of indentation and helps you see your code get lined up. Um, another feature of that is that um, if you say you hadn't indented that properly when you um, typed it in. There's a little button here about auto format. And in some environments, that will show you, that will make things line up. Doesn't seem to want to do that for HTML. Um, soft wrapping, I wouldn't choose soft wrap. I'd normally go for none. Code intelligence, um, you should have it enabled. I think this is a place where REPL's having a defect right now because I keep switching it to enabled. It is enabled because it's telling me different things about the code. Um, but for some reason, every time I open up a project, it says it's disabled. Uh, I skipped over this one. If you are a longtime Linux user, you might shiver with delight to know that you can have Emacs or Vim key bindings. If they don't mean anything to you, make sure that you leave this at default or you'll end up being extremely confused. So everything, um, infinite loop protection, code intelligent, wrapping, you can either leave it soft or none. Key bindings, leave that, indent and spaces. But these first three, you should play with and see what you like. Now, Having created a new project, sometimes you want to organize them. I don't think I'm going to require you to use folders, but it's a new feature in REPL, and I highly recommend it. So um, when I created that quick demo, REPL, it was just created on my homepage at REPL. And if I want to organize my, um, my code, and generally I would want to just to keep things straight, I can create a new folder. Um, I'm going to call it week two demo. Okay. And if I open that, I don't at the moment have any replets in there. If I create a new project, name it another demo. Okay, I get popped into that environment. If I go back, I see that my, the demo I just created got, got created inside the week two demo folder. This should be about what you'd expect how it to work. Um, another thing that may be obvious, but I'm gonna do it anyway, is if you end up wanting to organize after you've created your REPL, you can simply drag and drop the quick demo inside there. And now you've got, your week two demo replets inside your week two demo folder. I think that's probably enough for now. Um, I hope that was helpful and um, I do take requests. So if you have questions about REPL, um, the environment, how to code things, how to use it, things that seem too hard, please let me know and I'll either do a video or I'll answer the questions in slides. Thanks a lot.